Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, Dale here. In this video, I got a HP 17Z series 17.3 inch laptop. I'm basically going to just disassemble it, show you how everything comes out and comes off. And that's about it. And at the end, don't forget to subscribe and give me a like. And let's get to it. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of the screen. We're going to take out the screen. So I'll move the bezel here. Got to be careful when you're, these things are unbelievably thin. Super easy to break. I use my fingers a lot, but sometimes you got to get a tool in there to remove the adhesive. Done this many times, so try not to break it. I got this off, took a little longer than I thought. Sorry about that. So let's get rid of the screen here. Got four screws, two up here, two down here. I like to use my cordless whenever possible, just saves a little time, but using one of these is always good too. this down carefully. Grab my little protective pad here. Now we gotta remove the video cable here carefully. You gotta be real careful peeling these off. Just like that and it should pull right out. Set the screen aside. There we got the screen out. I've already removed the screws, but on these HPs, I want to show you on this particular model, you got only one screw here in the front, in the middle here, but under under this little rubber foot here, you gotta peel this up, and you got a screw right here, and on the other end you got another screw. I've already removed the screws, but there's another hole right here. And on the back, we're just going to remove this rubber one completely. Carefully, I put it back. You can see you got four screw holes underneath that one. I've already taken out all the screws, including the optical drive, so let's get that out of there. Usually, you can just eject it carefully. Jiggle it right out of there. I'm gonna set that over there. That. Now, underneath the optical drive, we got two more little tiny screws here. We gotta take out. Oh, just a second, I gotta grab a tool. Sorry, guys, I had to go get my screwdriver. Gotta take out these two little screws right here. Sometimes these are in there really tight, and you gotta be really careful not to strip. The, the Phillips head on that. It's easy to do sometimes, but this is fairly new, so no problem. So I got that out, got all the screws out, and I'll flip it back over. Now we're going to remove the palm rest area here. Now you can use a tool, obviously. Don't put a metal screwdriver in there because you're going to leave tool marks, and that's never good. So we're just going to kind of get it started here carefully. 
these HPs usually come off without too much trouble, as you can see. So, I've got to do a lot of flipping around here. So, I'm going to close it back up. I'm just going to kind of jiggle it off. Just like that. So, now we have our hard drive, our battery, our motherboard. First thing I'm going to do is get rid of the battery, which is right here. So we're going to start by removing the screw. While we're here, and we have another screw right here and one right here for the battery. And it attaches right here to the motherboard, so be careful. You pull it up, it just kind of comes out, and there's the battery. We're going to lay that off to the side. It's just kind of a compression fit in there. We're going to carefully lift it up. It's just a standard, traditional hard drive. We're going to disconnect it, just like that. You can always, of course, put a solid state drive back in here if you, if you want to. <laughs> now let's get rid of this... Um, USB I.O. port over here on the side. Two screws for that. I'm just going to strip this laptop right down for you. Two little screws there. It just lifts up. They always use adhesive on these. Be careful. Alright, first thing I want to disconnect from the motherboard here is the, the touchpad and the clickers. On this model, they have two different connections, one for the actual touchpad and one for the actual clickers here. So These are very delicate little, little guys here. You have to flip these up, just like that. Disconnect those from the motherboard. This one here is a little bit different. You gotta pop it up just like that. That is for the keyboard, by the way, on the other side. Now we're gonna disconnect this connector here for that USB port. Flip that one up. That one came up easy. Actually, I'm sorry, that was for the hard drive. My bad. A lot of tape in here. We got the hard drive connector. I'll put that right with the hard drive. Get this out of the way. I'm going to remove the Wi Fi card right here. There's one screw. There it goes. Just slide that out of the slot. We've got one connector here. I'm going to unplug that just like that. There's your Wi Fi card. And remove the RAM just like that. Over here, I'm going to disconnect the speaker. Oh, wrong. Well. tape out of the way so we got the speaker out of there and this cable right here is for your screen your your monitor you have to flip that up carefully these are very delicate that's going to slide back out just like that you don't want to use metal tools in here make sure you're using plastic stuff for your fingers in case you're wondering my bench tops are all anti-static. I spray them every day, so that's why I'm not wearing a band. Never had a problem. And we gotta disconnect this little guy here. So 
I'm just basically disconnecting all the cables and connectors from the motherboard. And we have one over here for your optical drive. Flips up. Carefully pull it back. Just like that. We got that one. So I'm going to unscrew the heat sink that goes on top of the CPU here. We're going to just connect that. There's four screws, as you, you can see. Two more right here. I'm going to disconnect the cooling fan from the motherboard right over here. Carefully jiggle it out. Alright, so now I'm going to turn around so I can unscrew. Oops, let's, actually, let's get rid of this first very carefully. This is a cooling tube that goes to the fan here. I put this back on. I'm going to clean all that up because the factory never does a good job with cooling paste ever. We're going to clean all that up and I'm going to redo that nicely. I'm going to unscrew the cooling fan itself here. Screw here. There should be, there's another one right here. And when you're taking something like this apart, just kind of keep track of where all your screws go. I've done so many of these, I just kind of know. But whatever works for you, I'm going to just combobrate this Wi Fi antenna wire from the fan here. Get it out of the way. I want to rip that out that would be a bad thing and there's our cooling fan out of the way so I believe we have everything disconnected from the actual motherboard now we're going to unscrew the motherboard I'm going to start right over here got one screw got one up here in the corner Right over here. Sorry. Oh, my bad. Thank you, cameraman. <laughs> Seems like there's another wire I forgot to do here. So I still got to get a screw out over here. It's easy to overlook some of these tiny screws. They blend in really easily. So don't be prying and pulling until you're sure you got all the screws now. I have another one right here. Make sure you get that back the way it's supposed to go. Alright, so we're all disconnected. Careful with the motherboard. I'm going to pull it up. I gotta disconnect from the bottom here for that USB port. Don't ask me why, but they decided to put it on the bottom. Flip that up carefully, and that's disconnected. So there's our motherboard out of our HP 17Z. And then all we got left is this little adapter right here the optical drive but I'm not going to worry about that. I just wanted to show you how to break this down but I am going to take the touchpad out of here. And last thing. Unscrew this. That kind of pulls back. And there's your little clicker buttons right there for the top side, right and left click. Back over carefully. And so that's the gist of it, folks. I appreciate you watching. I hope that was helpful. Um, 
If you like my video, subscribe and give me a like. And thanks for watching. See you next time.